Hello folks, here we are down at uh, Fisherman's Beach and doing a watercolour of a seascape. Now at the moment I'm putting on the yellow ochre wash, just basically blocking in all the areas. giving it a bit of warmth and basically underpainting. Cover the cliffs now in the yellow ochre. A little bit of red. Of course a red mixes with the yellow, turns into an orange. So it can look rather bright at the moment but will fade back a bit. I like to keep the brush rather large at this point in time. Uh, it helps to free up the painting. Just put a bit of uh, warmth there on that sand there and also up near the walkway. Yep, put that in. Now the green going in to represent the grass of course. But the green is a mixture of um, usually uh, a bit of burnt sienna and, uh, and viridian but I, I tend to knock the viridian back a bit because it will look a little bit too bright and not quite natural enough now putting in the sky can't see the top part it's fallen out of the, out of the frame but um, as I come down you'll see it So uh, just taking that down to the waterline, dropping a bit of colour in there. Just loosening up the clouds a little bit, basically uh, softening the lines. A bit more colour. Now we'll go into the sea. Just take that line right across there. and then just blocking in, leaving sections to represent breaking waves. And changing the color as we come forward. It's a bit of cerulean blue there in the foreground of the water. Now we'll block in the trees. A bit of burnt, um, no sorry, not burnt sienna, um, yellow ochre. Now a little bit of burnt sienna, not much. Still this is serving as underpainting, put in the green to represent the, the grass that's running down there. Now we'll continue with the blocking in, a little bit more color up in the trees there. Of course we've had a little break and we've given time for this to dry. Still coming in with the orange to try and capture the the warmth of that the afternoon as it was filtering through the trees. Now coming in with the darks.
still putting in the darks here, the shadows. Bearing in mind when you paint on location you often come out with a, a completely different uh, uh, different drawing, different painting as you will because you're responding to something and it's a little bit more leisurely and relaxed when you're working back in the studio. Nothing wrong with either of them but it's far more challenging to work outside. Still putting in the shadows and the lines to represent the trees or the tree trunks rather. So the colour there that I'm using would be uh, ultramarine blue and uh, and a crimson, crimson, yeah. Now a bit of yellow ochre. And uh, a bit of blue there. Think of the name of the blue, cobalt blue. So now I'm putting in the shadows. A few more darks. And cobalt blue to represent water. Now coming into the foreground, putting in some yellow ochre, I'll be reworking that. Basically this is underpainting. So there were some grasses there, so I want to represent the grasses. And it's starting to look a little bit like a painting now. A little bit of um, cobalt blue mixing with the yellow ochre there and then some upward brush strokes by the way I'm using a Chinese brush here I tend to move around with my brushes so sometimes they're hakey brushes and I might only use two brushes one hakey and a, a very fine brush other times I might use three or four it just depends Just testing here, looking at the shadows. There is a car shadow going across the path and the grass area. So working that out. I do like using the method of putting darks in the foreground because then it helps to bring the painting forward and create a foreground then you have foreground middle ground and background putting the darks in and here I'm mixing ultramarine blue um, crimson and burnt sienna to get the shadow and this is where it becomes interesting because when you put that dark in against the light you then help to create a very strong contrast and now for me the painting starts to oomph up a little bit if you will A 
there's a little bit more to go just want to put the figures in but that'll be coming still working on the uh, foreshore there now coming up beside the water that was coming up through the basically the center of the painting almost the center back again after letting it dry and now we're using a rigger brush to put in some figures you'll notice that I've done a little bit of extra work on the cliffs just coming back in again now I'm using the rigger to move around and just put in some details basically pulling it all together putting in the fence there's a bit of an old fence running up there so all the fence uh, palings there they're not all even it looks far more interesting if they're broken up in other words different heights and facing different directions makes for a far more interesting composition and I'm moving around fairly quickly with the rigger just picking up little bits and pieces here and there to represent rocks whatever really on the on the beach now coming into the foreground putting in a few dark highlights and now putting in some figures or more figures couple of figures there and very small dots there to represent heads I'll come back and put the, the torso on those figures shortly otherwise we have floating heads in space now this is interesting because I'm putting in a figure in the foreground here crossing over towards the beach and uh, that helps to strengthen the foreground and give a center of interest So as you can see it's just a few dots and dashes and marks, a torso and voila, we have a figure. And then give those figures down there a body. Someone bending over. Really, it's what or how you interpret something. I might leave a few marks and then that's up to the viewer to decide. Now, where I botch that up, I'll come back into that later and I'll just take that out with, um, with some water, watercolour, just plain water, and then wipe it out. And here we are, you'll see that I've taken that out already and now I'm going into the foreground shadows again. I want those a little bit stronger. And then it really brings it forward. Just putting in a few more shadows there. Pretty well tying it all in together and thank you for watching. <laughs>